Hey guys, I'm the Ugly Couch Gamer. We are back into Dark Dreams Don't Die, and we've got an extra case to do. No breakfast? Of course. I can throw something together if you like. Uh, make me some food. I'm pretty hungry. Okay, good. Let's eat then. I'll give you my very best today. Why are you so happy about it? <laughs> oh, that looks... What the fuck, dude? What happened with Diana? Oh. Why are you asking me that? Definitely you a cat. touched your meal. <sighs> <laughs> you know how it is. Same old, same old. Mm. Something more serious than clam chowder this time? This one's a bit different. It'll be okay, David, right? Things just got a little bit complicated right now. It'll work itself <laughs> out. What? There's supposed to be it shoes? Works? Yeah, it, it will. Still, I can't help but feel that all you two ever do is fight. You've never even seemed to entertain the notion of splitting up. You've got quite a strange relationship. <laughs> well, I may have met her here. We're both from New York originally. We think alike, you know? <laughs> so then why all the fights? I guess. It's probably my fault. Yeah. Take, if you will, this hot dog. What's this a Frank made? Disgusting huh? looking hot dog. Pork, right? That's right. Ah. Mm. Here in Boston, when you say hot dog, people think pork. <laughs> But in New York, it's all about beef. In other words, for Diana, even hot dogs meet beef. She doesn't like that you eat pork hot dogs? She thinks I've forsaken my hometown. She can't forgive me for that, so she gets all tough on me. <laughs> you see, this is why I don't like eating so contests. She loves you, but she also loves her hometown just as much. Yeah. Will I ever be able to win out against the Big Apple? God only knows. You said it. That was truly disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, the rise of new blo of new blood series strains. Oh, is it? Okay. 2004 was a nightmare of a year for those involved in the case. The rapid influx of BC's blood cell was followed almost immediately by the appearance of new strains, one after another. B2's Blood Cell 2.0, B3's, B4's, dot dot dot, each generation further strain spread. Due to the common element of there being a red powder, they came to be known as the Blood Series. Due to the extreme high and so-called divine physical reaction, the drugs quickly created many addicts, in turn leading to a rapid increase in victims suffering terrible final moments. The flow was restricted with clear market control and the disparity of the victims impeding the investigation. No arrests have been made yet. Abuse of the blood series has an extremely high mortality rate, but the direct cause of blood is extremely limited. In the lab, they have been shown to be drugs with effects that modern medicine remains unable to explain, such as bringing dead mice back to life or curing cancer in a matter of hours. Okay, so this report kind of seems like this blood series is kind of like a, uh, is like almost like a drug, like an addictive drug or something. But towards the end, it seems to to refer to it as almost like a miracle cure. That's interesting. Oh, 
Did I not read all this? Oh my gosh. Look how long this is. Uh, I'm not going to read it all. I've scrolled through it. If you want to read the rest, by all means. Oh, great. That I thought that would give me full recovery. Oh, got a package. Rare items left. Hey, still not Amanda. the store. Where'd that ball come from? Meow. Meow, meow, meow. All right. So what am I supposed to be doing now? I'm supposed to be looking at the case file. Or eliminated suspects. It's kind of looking that way. The first on the scene. Yep. Here we go. Was Doctor August Oldman, the man who raised little Peggy. The shock was so great, it turned his hair white overnight. According to his testimony, by the time he found Peggy, I wasn't there anymore. As luck would have it, someone had already taken me to the hospital stuck me in the ICU. And he died because of it? After recovering and returning home, I found him there. Who just let someone... Did you come to this? Just loiter in a crime scene. David Young, do you think the past can be changed? At that moment, all I could do was stand there. But now... So he probably gave you your powers. Probably. You hear about David? Seems he has no memory of the night of the incident. According to his statement, the only thing he does remember are the final words of the victim. What did she say? <laughs> what did she say? D. D? What? Bet you it's D for David. <laughs> Can't hear ya. Speak louder. Alright, Tubby. You got anything? David, investigation 101. Go back to the beginning and look over all the evidence again. You might even find the new memento. I've already done that. Maybe we were supposed to go back in here? That doesn't look like it. When I'm diving back in time, and I fall asleep or lose consciousness, this What's is where that? I come back to. Even I don't know why, but it's surely some kind of sign. Are this still the blood stains? Oh gosh. It's crazy. So I'm supposed to be looking for another memento? I also chomp lollipops. Uh, it kind of looks like a chubby, like, Superman, a bit, you know? Like, he, he kind of has the same facial structure of, like, Superman, like, kind of blocky. Alright, so what? Can I leave? I don't think I can. It's hardly the time to be playing like this. Yeah, that's what I thought. Can 
I get on the other side of the table, maybe look at that case file he's got open up. It's no good. I can't find anything. No good. I can't find anything. I thought for sure that would trigger something. I mean, unless it, that's a clue for the ball that Amanda has, but I don't even know how to get it. Oh, can I go in here? Oh, I can! Here we go. Fuck you, pigeon. Fuck you, squirrel. Am I trimming the hedges? That's weird. Oh. Wow, that's... Alright, we, we know you're obsessed with D, David, but you don't have to make it so obvious. Found a letter from little Peggy. David. I miss you. It's quiet at night, and I sit listening to the clock tick, marking the time until you visit me. Then, after you visit and leave for work, it's the worst feeling, knowing I'm going to be lonely for another day. I sometimes wish you'd never come at all. Today's your first promotion since you joined the force, isn't it? I hope you're out right now celebrating have fun it must be forrest's first promotion too congratulations to both of you i hope you're proud because i am being able to sleep in my own bed still feels like a small victory if i've learned anything these past two years it's look at everything as a gift even the painful things this sickness might be fate's way of telling me to keep on living it's a difficult gift to handle, but as long as you're in my life, I think I can win. Right now, I'm looking forward to the both of us drinking a cold beer in the not-too-distant future, celebrating that my disease is in remission for good. Love, Little Peggy Oldman, November 9th, 2004. Okay, so Little Peggy clearly was, like, sick. Sick with something. That's for sure. So, oh, you're back, huh? Oh yeah. We'll take that. Get out of here. I don't like pigeons in my apartment complex. Well, I guess that was it. I don't think I can go downstairs. Can I drink more? When I would drink tequila, Peggy, who didn't drink, would join me with cranberry juice and bubble gum. I don't have much of a sweet tooth, so I'd always poke fun at it. Is cranberry juice really a sweet tooth sort of thing? And look at me now, chewing this sweet gum and thinking about it. That's my favorite. Oh, we got a letter. Oh, from little Peggy. <coughs> David, I've got a secret. I'm smiling because I want to tell you so badly and I can't wait until you're home tonight. I was so excited when I found out that I left work immediately and came straight home. 
I couldn't stand to be around so many people and not tell them the news. Almost there now. Me. I want you, David, to be the first one to know our secret. Amanda's been unusually affectionate today for some reason. I wonder if animals can detect a pregnancy before people can. They say cats have extra senses. So Amanda's definitely a cat. It's referring to her as a cat in this letter. I know I'm not supposed to be excited before things are much further along. There's still so much that could go wrong. And my friends say you shouldn't jinx your luck by talking about it too early. But I can't. But I just can't stop smiling. I've never thought of myself as a mother before. I don't even remember my mother's face. I wonder if she was as nervous as I am now. Well, I do know one thing. You'll be a great dad, David. I love sharing my life with you. Let's head out on this adventure together. All the love in the world. Little Peggy Ullman, August 3rd, 2010. So maybe she wasn't sick, maybe she was just pregnant. It's saying look for a memento among the evidence, and this is clearly the evidence box right here. <sighs> it's no good. I can't find anything. It's the only thing you're looking at. I mean, unless, unless it's giving me a hint and saying it's the baseball, but is that another letter? It is. All right. <coughs> David, you look worried lately, and I'm sorry I haven't been totally honest with you. Please don't worry. The only reason I haven't told you is because I know everything will be all right. Yesterday morning, when I was in the bathtub, I noticed the water tinge red with blood. I sense it's my disease coming back. She, so she does have a disease. She was also pregnant, though. Last night, I lay in bed with my hand on my stomach, feeling the baby kick. It's true. I'm a little afraid, but I'm optimistic. With you by my side making me laugh, it keeps me strong. The doctor told me in cases like mine, many women agreed to terminate the pregnancy for the sake of their health. But this baby is a gift. I smile every day because I know she's on her way into the world. I already love her more than anything, and I know someday, soon, you and I are going to be holding her together. Love from your lucky clover. Little Peggy Oldman. October 16th, 2010. All right. Yeah, smash that cookie. Will your 30-year-old self like the tattoo your 20-year-old self picked? <laughs> what? Why is there like a computer voice whenever? Doesn't make any sense. Yeah, smash that cookie. Save up some cash and buy a massage chair. What does that even mean? What does the 65 in sweary 65 mean? what I was supposed to do. <gasps> Whoa! Amanda? Oh, gosh. Be a good girl and hand that over. Give it back! Come on! Ow! Oh, gross. Come on, Amanda. 
You gotta be good. Or else you won't get any treats. <laughs> All that hard work! from me. Oh gosh. Oh no. Not enough salt. That's it. Good girl. Just stay still. Uh huh. Oh my gosh, that is horrifying. Quit it! Stop throwing stuff! My records! My very Manolo! I don't even remember having a dog statue. Hold it! Are you gonna destroy the entire house? You can help out, you know. Yes, gotcha. Now, Teddy! This is the end, Amanda. Give me the ball! Oh, no! David! No! I don't think so! This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, but I love it so much. Teddy, this is a memento. A memento? The baseball? How come? How the hell did that get in among the evidence anyway? Because I got involved in its past. Change this ball into a memento. Maybe I really can change the past. Dave, we're restarting this investigation. I've made the connection, little Peggy. The ball that the courier threw in the airplane somehow it found its way into the evidence, and Amanda claimed it as her toy. I got involved with it, so it transformed into a memento. With this, I should be able to get back inside that plane. So, is it that items become mementos if David gets involved with them? It kind of seems that way. Alright. We at least know what we're supposed to do. Get some food for the road. <laughs> Annoying kitten? Oh, what's this? Good... wait. Wait, go back. Good luck charm. Auto recover when exhausted, single use. All right, that seems useful. Oh, don't I? Oh, there we go. Oh, let's get some life. I th yeah, I only have six. Uh, let's get a small bandage. I think we're good.
those are just scrapbook things. Alright guys, I am all out of time for this episode. I'm the Lily Couch Gamer. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like what you see. If not, that dislike button is right there calling your name. Go ahead, press me if you don't like what you see. And also comment and let me know, hey, I don't like this crap. But if you do, give me a comment in the opposite direction. Alright guys, I shall see you later. Bye-bye.